All right, folks, by the time you see this video, the article that I'm reading to you will be about a week old, maybe a little bit more, but still very valid to the conversation that we've been having, especially as it relates to China and what's going on with Taiwan. So let me read this to you. This is, of course, out of uh, Zero Hedge. And it says this, uh, of course, the title of the article is about as important as the content of the article. And it says, U.S. Carrier Group heads toward Taiwan ahead of potential Pelosi trip after China warns of forceful response. So uh, this is uh, very interesting. Look what it says. At the beginning of the article, it says, if House Speaker Nancy Pelosi follows through on her planned trip to Taiwan, the U.S. military will beef up security in case a mishap misstep or misunderstanding endangers her safety. That's what the Associated Press is reporting. And the article goes on to say, while the trip is still in uncertainty, officials say that the military would increase its movement of forces and assets in the Indo-Pacific region, though they declined to go further uh, detail, aside from nothing, that fighter jets, ships, surveillance assets, and other military systems would be used to provide overlapping rings of protection for her flight, and any time that she spent on the ground. Now, isn't that amazing? Uh, first of all, I just want to simply say this. She is the highest ranking member of the House, and she is choosing to do something that is putting American troops in danger. She is putting American assets in danger. And um, what she's doing is just plain awful. Now, it is interesting because to make things worse, you've got Joe Biden, who then went to uh, Xi Jinping and basically told him, hey, listen, um, we do acknowledge the fact that uh, your stand on Taiwan is what we agree with. So don't worry about that. And so if Nancy comes along, well, it's not going to be a big deal. That's probably what he's communicating. I know the fact that he said that he agrees with the stand of China on Taiwan is uh, a verified story. But what is even beyond this, and I think what is actually uh, scary about this is their effort, the military's effort to protect Nancy Pelosi is absolutely indicative of the very things that we have been saying from the very beginning. And that is a fact that when totalitarian rulers choose to step into play, uh, it is because they hate God. And when they hate God, they hate freedom. And so they seek to take away people's freedom at the expense of everybody that is in the country with the exception of the ruling class. And we're seeing that happening right now. We see that in Revelation chapter 6. That's going to be happening in the future. But the interesting thing is they continue to put the crowd at risk for the sake or for the benefit of a single person who is wanting to go there and do things that I think are less than upright. Matter of fact, I know are less than upright, but the reality of it is this is the issue that is being faced. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The uh, consequentiality, shall I say, of China and of the United States is um, non-existent uh, in the last days. We don't see much of that. And I know there's some really good people that disagree with me on the China thing, but I don't see China in the Bible. I think uh, Revelation chapter 9 and chapter 16 are conflated, and I don't think that we see any relationship in that vein. But what's even more interesting is we are watching China fall apart. We're watching the United States fall apart. And if the United States does not repent as a nation, we're going to continue to see it fall apart and they are going to tear down each other. China and the United States are going to tear down each other. That's a direction we're going in. And Taiwan's going to laugh the whole way through. And it's not going to be an easy thing for them, believe it, uh, believe it or not. And I also think that Ukraine, once that gets into a full-scale, destructive, all-out war with the United States and Russia, because of that situation, the United States trying to hold out their last asset there, um, I, I'm just going to say that that will be the signal for China to go and to attack Taiwan, and there won't be enough military resources to stop it, and we are going to begin to see a lot of crazy things happen. Folks, we're there. It's about to get hot. Things are getting crazy. Keep your eyes open. Um, the day that I'm actually doing this video is a week before you're actually watching it, but the reality of it is what we're seeing here is serious. It's unbelievable, and um, we're watching it all take place. Jesus is coming soon. Keep your heads up, folks. God bless you.